Saturday, the uh, 28th of July 2018. I'm on platform number three at Rome Street. And the Westlander, which I call the train of shame, has arrived. With 2490 on the lead. And I'm waiting on the tilt train to Rockhampton and later on, I hope to get the spirit of the outback to the spirit of Queensland. for the West End could be able to be taken to the main car sidings in Brisbane. Both buses are running on what used to be uh, platform one, platform two is dual gauge, standard gauge and three and six. While this platform three is, is uh, narrow gauge and it's being used today for unknown reasons by me anyway, but uh, normally these all the long distance trains go on platform ten. Another bus coming in busway state platform. These are the cars for the uh, 11 a.m. Rockhampton Tilt train service. This is Cartwright's business class on the train. The train will be leaving in a few moments, a few minutes. Um, the business class is recommended really. It's got uh, window spacing and style is different than the economy and it uh, allows one window for each person. It's got a uh, seat beside the window. And you've got two and one seating, so you can request a single seat if you're travelling alone. to Rockhampton Tilt Train. I made a minor error a little earlier, there's actually dual gauge on platform 3. And the main purpose of that is to have a locomotive go around if it's required. Well, a train would come in from Sydney for example, it's normally the XBT, but if there's a passenger train, a local haul, 
the locomotive could run around on platform three and I've been told that some track work has caused the closure of platform 10 today. Now I'm waiting on the arrival of the Spirit of the Outback and then later on I'll get its departure. I'm at Wollowan Station, uh, just filling in a little bit of time and took a suburban train out from Roma Street to here and I'll go back and get ready to photograph that Spirit of the Outback. The train arriving on platform two is the Brisbane Airport's train stopping all stations. Here comes the Indian built train going to the airport. controversy over these trains and there's going to be a judicial inquiry into them, their faults and problems and who, who was responsible. The only positive thing is that their windows are clear for a moment and they haven't got scratches on them. Ah, I get to ride one of these Indian built trains. Right, the cars for the Spirit of the Outback are coming in at the platform 10. See the people getting photos all over the place here. 24 tens on the lead. Spirit of the Outback is called the Shearer's Rest and uh, it's interesting because um, for a number of things but this, these blank TV screens you see are never used and uh, incidentally a person would walk through here and go to a uh, window there for buying snacks and that type of thing if they wish. This is the interior of the uh, dining car, it's known as the Tucker Box Restaurant. Just an interior show of the uh, sitting car on the train, one of them. Just stocking up the provisions in the lounge car, and you've got two sitting cars now. The mystery here is there was a snack bar, no, it was a uh, sleeper lounge for economy class passengers for many months but it disappeared also for a very long period of time. Uh, 
I would suspect that it's gone forever, but we'll see. Another look at the front of the train, looking along the train. And I've got to say, that so-called uh, refurbished car that they're doing, this is a, uh, a sleeper lounge for economy class, I believe it's off the train permanently. If anyone can tell me otherwise, please do. Suburban train going at the same time as the Spirit of the Outback is heading out. There it goes. This is the best train in Queensland for, for sleeping cars, a dining car, lounge car, and two cities.